And this is just a reminder of a, um, a great offer that we've got um, happening at the moment. This is a new little zipper purse. It's been released on the website. So much to do, so little time. I think we can all relate to that so far, don't you? <laughs> I definitely can. So that's a cute little zipper purse. It's made totally in the hoop. We give you the instructions how to put the zipper in. It's fully lined, no raw seams. And again, we've used one of our beautiful little um, zippers in that. This is available on the website for purchase, but if you purchase our pink fang, which is this very interesting little implement, we actually wouldn't be without it when we're in our sewing room because it saves your fingers from being attacked by the needle of the machine. <laughs> because when you're doing our um, applique and everything in the machine, it's just a natural tendency you want to put your finger there to hold it down. So this takes the place of your finger. It's made of like a flexible plastic. There are some um, copies of this on the website, um, on other places that you can get cheaper, but they break. This one doesn't break. This is based on the original that pink purple thing that Lynn Graves, a lady in America, um, produced and made. She's given us permission to have to make the pink one in our pink colour. So this is the same as the original purple thing, but ours is the pink one. Looks like a gigantic needle. Has lots of different uses. So it has like a little flat end that actually has a marking on it that says it's a quarter of an inch. So if you put that against um, a ruler, you'd see that marking. Then the other end has got this sort of a little bent sharp end. It's not, it doesn't hurt, but it's pointier. So you can use it either end to be holding down your fabric when you're stitching. So if this going under the needle, it's not going to hurt the needle and it saves your finger. This probably has a flatter bit, so you can probably feel as if you're sort of holding it down a bit more when you're doing that. Um, but there's no right or wrong which end you use. I um, it's also good for when you're doing something like uh, when you want to push out a corner, you can use it to push out corners. I know people use chopsticks or whatever's handy lying around, but if you've got this tool beside your machine, you can use it for this as well. So pushing through or even a finer corner, you can push it with this end. I've actually recently, Sylvana, made some fitted cot sheets for my granddaughter and threading the elastic through the hem. I put the elastic through this big eye of a needle and I could throw, put that through the hem. Um, you could use this and tie um, a ribbon through it and have it hanging so you never lose it. Um, there's lots of, you had another idea for that too, didn't you? Well, we were talking about it before, I can't remember what it was though. Another use, I would actually, I'll put it out there. I, if you've got other uses that you could use this for, email us and let us know because there's a multitude of uses and I think it's one of those tools that you have sitting beside your machine and you'll find you're using it all the time instead of your fingers. So the deal is if you purchase this on our website the files for this cute little zipper purse will be added to your account so that you just download it from your account on the website. So this is called That Pink Fang and this is our little zipper purse.